Hi guys, I want to talk for a minute about spirituality and kind of like needing to be open constantly to your opinions being constantly changed. <laughs> and I'm finding that my journey through discovering more aspects of spirit what spirituality really means and what spirituality means in my life and in the wider world that my opinions are constantly being changed and it's like my reality is kind of evolving you know how I perceive things is completely different to how I might have perceived them yesterday and I, I guess I suppose this is what they call awakening isn't it now that you mention it, it makes sense um one thing in particular that comes to mind, I used to, in the past, up until last week, um, when I would refer to the higher self, I would really just mean your intuition. And I thought I understood those two things to kind of be the same thing. And I just had an experience last week that has literally blown my brain and my whole concept of what I thought I knew about myself and the higher self to smithereens. <laughs> I don't even know how to start to explain it. So, like when I started channeling a year, over a year ago, um, like one of the main messages that all, always comes through, and I know like my friends get these, um, my psychic friends get these messages as well when they're channeling, is that the wisdom is within you. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I know, yeah, yeah, it's within me. I know best, yeah, whatever. And I always, I thought I understood that. And I guess maybe I understood it on a soul level as in like, yes, I know that to be fact. But I didn't really, I guess, intellectually get it. Um, th though I really thought I, I did at the same time, but I realize now it was really just the ego kind of going, no, you don't actually have all the wisdom within you. You know, it's just, just a saying or they're just saying that. And I think, like I was saying a while ago around certain things that you see in past lives, you know, you see things when you're ready to see them. You're shown things when you're, you have a relationship with your ego where you know how to separate what is stuff that's just making you feel good, what's like fluffing up your ego and what is actually really deep, 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 meaningful stuff that you really, really understand on a soul level. Anyways, what I'm talking about with the higher self stuff. Um... So I always thought it was just going into your heart space and you get intuitive hits or you're open to receiving information from your spirit guides. Um, so I've had this um, guide coming to me for a while. He's like this old knight and <laughs> he kind of just makes me laugh. He's just like an old guy. Um, dressed in like a suit of armor and chain mail and a sword and stuff and I'm just kind of like hi and I've met him a few times over the last year and I know that he's there for protection but I don't didn't know much else about him and I was, just happened well I followed an intuitive hit to ask my friend Felicity about it and she was like sure you know ask him what's going on what are you about why are you here what are you here to help me with that sort of thing uh, so I did then last week and so I went into my heart space and I welcomed him in and Archangel Michael was there as well and they were like friends or something you know what I mean they like were they like embraced each other and it was like two old friends getting together again and I'm kind of like what's going on here and the old knight and Archangel Michael were saying like we're here to take you to a new level and a new understanding of your higher self and I'm like okay grand yeah sure I know that already 
uh, and I just was kind of like okay grand do you know what I mean you, when you start doing this kind of spiritual work you just start to stay open to any sort of a weird thing happening you're just like okay bring me somewhere new that's great but I just had this experience where I was in my heart space with them and I'm a very visual psychic so like I can that I literally see that like it's happening in front of me though it's happening inside of me I guess and the ground from underneath the three of us just like dropped and like melted away and we just started moving down through this abyss and it was like like a tunnel like a portal and it was like there was like a flashing lights it kind of looked like that matrix code stuff around us and we just landed in this like beautiful land beautiful pasture and woodland and it was just like a gorgeous countryside scene and they showed me that this was actually where I could go to access my higher wisdom and I was kind of like okay that's great don't really get like how that's any different to what I already do but okay and then it was like oh I don't know I could say a download but it wasn't like a download because it was way more insane than that it was like this energetic wall was like lifted and suddenly there was just like all of this information from all of the gazillions of past lives that I've had and all of the knowledge that I've experienced and gathered and it all just kind of came together and it was like boom you now have, all, now have all this information. <laughs> and I was just like, what the fuck? Like, it was just, I can't, the, the words I'm using won't describe it and I can't describe it because it was literally mind blowing. And even now, like that was about a week ago, I'm kind of still a little bit shocked by it and a bit shook. At the same time, like on a soul level, I'm like, but you always knew that was there. <laughs> But the human, egoic level is like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> this is insane. Um, so I've now learned that everything that I'm downloading for the book, everything that's in the Akashic Records, everything, all of this information that I have, have been getting from the Divine Feminine archetypes like the goddesses and Mary Magdalene everyone stuff that I've been getting from uh, Jesus and Osiris and these divine masculine representatives it's all there in this one place and the message that I'm getting is yeah you can bring in this information from these other gods and goddesses but now you know that you actually already have all of that like written into your soul and now this veil has been lifted that can just give you this access when you need to access it like all that information is there and I'm just like I'm shook and the great thing about it is that I find it quite exhausting to channel a, a little bit the Mary Magdalene and, and people like that, but a lot more the Divine Feminine, the, excuse me, the Divine Masculine, because I don't know, is it just that I'm not used to that energy so much um, that I find it a lot harder, like physically harder? like pressure on my head it improved a lot from when I started doing it but it's still I find myself putting it off because I know it's going to be really hard on me and I know I'm going to be kind of pooped for the rest of the day um but when I go in and access my own higher self which is all the same information and I know because I've been writing it and I'm like this is exactly the same as what I've been given and it's so much easier 
physically. I guess because that information is already in me, it's now just being unlocked. So there you go, guys. That's what's going on in my weird little world of all things spiritual. <laughs> so what was my point? What was I saying? Basically, stay open to your perception of reality being completely fucking blown out of the water and keep doing the work you know keep uh keep tipping away and i know that if i had heard about or fully understood what this wisdom the wisdom is within you that line that has come to me a thousand times in the last year the wisdom is within you I know if I really had actually understood that six months ago, I would have gone mad trying to get it, you know, trying to get to this, trying to access it. But I know that actually it only happened because the time was right. And I know that I can be a good, I know that I've done enough of the ego work, the shadow work, all of that hard, hard, hard stuff to go through that I've done enough of that work to be a gatekeeper to that level of wisdom. And I'm able to tune into my intuition enough to know and tune into my spirit guides enough to know what is right to share, what is too much to share, what what is too much for me to even get or know. I just think, uh, my mind is blown. I don't know. I have nothing else to say, I think. I think that's everything. So there you go, guys. I'd love to know if you've experienced this, I don't know, access before. And I feel like it's a real effortless access. It's like I don't have to go anywhere or speak to anyone to get this wisdom. It's just encoded into me. And now it's like... I just have the key and it's just like, I can just go in and have a look whenever I want. <sighs> That's it. That's my life. Madness. So, um, would love to know what you think. Would love to know if you get what I'm saying or if you're just like, oh my God, there's more. <laughs> yeah, there's more guys. And I know that there will be more after this. I know that there's so much stuff that I am still yet to see and I'm too emotionally young to see and the time will come and it's going to be great. Okay, have a lovely day and we'll talk to you soon.